It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1632, recorded July 20th, 2017. New set, same crappy show. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, the set has changed, but it is still the same Adunab show. We have three more gadgets from CE Week. I have maybe the most expensive gadgets I've ever shown off in the corner. And your letters. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same damn show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs Growing blue and LEDs Get ready for the Giz Whiz now Now! Now! And it is time for the Giz Whiz And here he is The uh, connoisseur of gadgets Dick D. Bartolo How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing well And it looks like you have been very busy We are in a new Are we in a different part of your house now? Yes, this is a completely different part of the the house. Um, One one side versus the other. I used to use this room for my streaming uh, setup, but I decided, you know what? It's time for a change. Let's uh, let's move some things around. Um, The Giz was uh, the old Giz was set. Um, while I liked it, I felt like it would be nice if everything was like solid and real and, you know, these are all real walls. There's not just a little curtain or anything like that. Uh, and like built-in shelves, you know, those other shelves wow. are just from Ikea. And now, uh, everything is <laughs> a lot, you know, nicer laid out with blue LEDs and stuff like that. Yes. So, holy cow. I had always had this dream that the Gizwa set would look better. And uh, so I spent some time. What is that? Like, oh, apparently I, here's a poster. Poster I might have set up at one point. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm just re- really, really, really happy with uh, uh, the change. I don't know if you, I surprised you. I didn't even tell you that anything was no. changing. No. I was just no. like, hey, wh- look There's at the new that- set. <laughs> no, it looks it looks good. Yeah. The only thing is the, the some people are missing the curtain. I think that's I know. the most sad thing. I know. Where's and the crappy the corner curtain? is just gonna have to be like, oh, hey, I'm walking over here for the crappy corner. Let me <laughs> let me go get. Yeah, it. you can you can just get the blue curtain and lay it over the crappy corner. <laughs> right. You know, maybe I'll just have it down here and I'll yeah, pull like it up. Yeah, like that. That bring it up. There oh, you go. oh, I'm in there. The, uh, yeah, exactly. There Solved so. in a minute. <laughs> So that is uh, the new set. I've spent uh, the last week working on that, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some also some nice little details. Is this was always butcher block before, and I had the black mat on it, and I was kind of tired that there was like this weird white butcher block, and then the black mat on top. So now it's all just solid black painted. That and anyway, still have an overhead overhead camera still. Still got the product camera. It's a little bit wider than normal, but. Oh. Uh, Still, still, still there, and um, and also everything is just a, a a little bit different. Before everything was from the ceiling, and now I'm hanging it from the walls and and uh, sort of thing. And I could, I might be able to to pull this off if we want to get kind of a shot of what everything looks like. If we just look up, do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, and so we have all of this attached to the wall here, and. Uh, plugged in there so this is on a big arm and there's another arm this is the single wow. shot and, and what kind of a room is this is this the basement or a bedroom just a bedroom or? just a spare bedroom, bedroom? okay yeah Very let's good. see if i can line this shot back up to what it was like before um so yeah just a spare bedroom and um these these arms that i use well you got a little bit of the hallway there and we got to get rid of that um these are uh lighting arms like a photographer might use it in a studio to place lights around and i just use them for the webcam oh that's good we only have we have a couple of complaints you have to throw something over the cables in the corner someone i says. know i this is this was listen i was rushing we are <laughs> we started this show very late um i this tv wasn't installed oh, about an hour the crap ago it, the curtain the cur- just throw the curtain oh over my that gosh next, i need the next curtain. week i just yeah, have a next blanket week. 
Yeah. That's exactly. a, yeah, that's okay. Next week, just draw exactly. the curtain over it. Like, and then ugh. everything will be in the same room. Don't look at those. Um, so, yeah. I, no, we'll, this is good. We'll do some tidying up before the next episode. This was uh, minimal viable product, as they say, in the uh, tech world. So, yeah. Looks great. Looks good. Anything? Did you do anything over the weekend? Oh, let's say there's another one of those Christmas in July shows. I went to that. And uh, da -bum, what else did I do? Uh, did a little bit of boating. Nothing uh, too spectacular. That's nice. Nothing like Good. you yeah. rearranging Rearranging stuff. the whole house. Yeah, exactly. I might use this single more. I... It's not, anyway. Oh, that looks good. That yeah, looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm all hooked oh, on the new studio. Our mad, our, the, our mad article is up there, too. Yes, nice. this is your, yep, this is the, the uh, Mad Magazine um, that we were both in, that where we're pitching a snark tank to people. Yeah. And, <laughs> yes. um, yeah, exactly. So, so now that has a proper place. My camera Perfect. is over here. We have the 3D printer uh, yes. right there. Yes. Uh, this is a very old um, phone. This would be good for... I forget if I cover this on the, um, uh, on the warehouse, but this phone is so old that it How says... How old <laughs> is it? That its phone number is... Uh, One. Like, <laughs> yeah. To call the police, you would dial 52640. That's wow. was the that, police's was that from phone number. Your house in Texas? That is from my um, uh, great uncle, and uh, he had phone service. He's one of the very first people to have phone service um, wow. in in his community. Yeah, it's uh, wow, uh, wow, pretty pretty, <laughs> and it's also hefty. I mean, this thing. Oh uh, yeah, they used to be made out of like bakelite or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So we have a few mementos on the. Oh, on the someone in the regatta just said, "Was it made with Bakelite?" It might have been. I mean, it feels like something hefty, something hefty. With that, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. What's okay, let's jump into the show. It was a CE Week last week, and uh, what was great about CE Week is there was a lot of innovative gadgets. Uh, I don't think I saw one Bluetooth speaker, and this first one is something that uh, part of it. With the version I'm interested in will be out in November. The the other one will be out in uh, next year. But it's a very unique security camera for your car, RV, or boat. Let's see it. Dick Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I am looking at you through the third eye. You know, we play What the Heck Is It? You cannot guess what this is, okay? But we have Justin who knows exactly what it is. Hi, everyone. My name's Justin. I'm with Waylens, Inc., and we're a company out of Boston, Massachusetts. Right here, I have the Secure 360. It's an automotive 360-degree security camera. And what makes this different is it has a cellular... 4G chip inside here so no matter where you're at you could check in on your vehicle and if it detects alerts uh, such as motion sensor, this has a built in 3D radar so if that 360 degree field of view is broken, you can send an alert right to your smartphone through our app here and you'll have an alert and you'll get a notification on where and when and what happened. So you could view in. This is something we... So this, is, this is mounted on the dash? This is mounted right on your windshield. So um, just like this, you're going to mount it right on the windshield. It's going to get both inside the car and outside the car. We have a couple different viewing modes. You could see right here on my screen. Is this your car? Uh, this is the Uber driver on our way over here to the event. So we recorded this this morning um, in New York City here. Um, and now uh, the split view is built into the camera. It's showing you both. This is the 360 view. So you're seeing both the front and the back. And what I could also show you is a pan and scans uh, view. So you're actually viewing the 360 degree. That is really convenient. 
you could watch this live. Say you parked your car at the airport and someone bumps into it. Not only can you see if someone's getting into your car, but you could see if someone, you know, broke in. Someone may have bumped into you. You can get their license plate. So it's pretty cool. And you get the notification. And what's it going to retail for? And when's it going to be available? So we're going to have two models available. Uh, the Wi-Fi model will retail at 249 That will be available this November. And a 4G model will retail at 349 and that will be available uh, in the spring 2018. Okay, and as you see on the screen there, it's 360.waylands.com. Oh, it's a really very interesting device. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Medis writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Forgot to unmute. Uh, very cool. Very interesting. So a 365 degree camera uh, that could be used at any time because of its solar powered uh, nature. I really like it. I think that's I do. Cool. I do too. Uh, what I like about it is you could, you know, he was using his cursor to move around the car. And I always wanted to have something uh, inside the boat that I could look all the way around. That way I could see, like during rainstorms, is, is the bilge pump going on and off? I could see with the indicator lights on the dashboard. Uh, so I like this idea a lot too. And that, that's the image uh, in from the car. So you're seeing the back of the car or the front of the car. And then when you uh, use the cursor, you can move around inside the car. I think, it's, I think it's very clever. That's very clever. And also, I'm just so surprised that this lens gets that image. I mean, it, it, you would think that it would have to poke out so much further. Yes. I mean, just I wonder, really wonder what, about the optics. Obviously, this is an incredibly distorted. Yes. Uh, but it's not as distorted as I would expect, I guess I would say. Um, but very, very, very interesting. Um, and, 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 yeah, and the price doesn't seem too, uh, too terrible. Two forty nine. dollars yep. for the Wi-Fi version uh, coming in November. And then the cell... Uh, 4G version in the spring for I think it was a hundred dollars more. I think you said 349 for yeah. that. Yeah, pretty good. Like I want to use it as um, you know I've always talked about how good it is to have a dash cam on your on your car, and you should have the most wide angle dash cam possible because if someone's coming in from the side, you want to get it, you know, get as much information as you can. Well, you can't get any more wide angle than 365 degrees. <laughs> I know. Uh, let me tell you that. So. No, uh, even if they're coming cool. up from the back, you've got <laughs> exactly. that covered. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. So very, very cool. The Wayland Secure 360, um, not yet available, but uh, keep your eyes peeled uh, for it in the future. Very, very cool. Nice. Okay, now our next gadget, uh, you scoffed. You scoffed <laughs> at <laughs> digit uh, fidget spinners. <laughs> <laughs> saying they are going to be a short-lived... A fad, I said. A it's fad, a fad. A fad. Okay, you may be right, but these people are trying to prove you wrong. So let's take a look. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Rider, and the Gizwiz. <clears throat> One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at CE Week. Look at these people... And you know why they're all here? Because it has something to do with fidgets. And now there's a company called Fidget Tech. Okay, remember on the show we talked about, first we had the, the uh, fidgets, and then we had the LEDs, and then we had them with the speakers. These guys have gone nuts with them, and they're gonna tell us some of the new things they're doing with fidgets. We first innovated the original spinner. I'm sorry. We, <laughs> okay. we added this phone stand to it. Taka will show you exactly how that goes. Suction onto that. You take your phone. Oh, your phone? Suction it right to your phone, and it becomes a phone stand. Oh, okay. So, you can use it for so it, you fidget can spinner use it, innovation. Sit there and watch whatever you need. So it's a, regular, a, regular, it's a regular fidget spinner, regular. but now with that, you can, okay. Yes. Now, what we're really debuting today is very exciting. I'll start with the audio splitter that Saki's holding. <laughs> 
what we can do is you oh plug your God. headphone into here and then into the source, right, with an audio jack. Oh, my and God. And each of us can plug both of our headphones in and listen to it individually. Okay. The real trick is to be able to spin that fast with the cables connected. Well, we can run around with it. I think I think that just might work. <laughs> okay. It's like a jump rope. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Okay. Talk about our hub. Yeah, Sorry. so the hub is because, you know, nobody has enough USB ports. You, you got to charge your phone. You and your pal don't have two chargers. You have oh, my phones, God. And now you can you share your devices. The funniest you can plug gadget. more than one in at a time. Our laptops don't have enough USB ports on them, so we can split those up as well. You can use it with a combination of battery banks, chargers, hubs, all kinds of devices. Okay. So every one that you design has to be equal. In other words, it has to be a headphone jack on all three so that the balance stays. Yes. That was the audio one. And then as far as the flash one, there's different USB ports on each one. We're doing a USB 3.0 and we're also going to be USB Type-C connectors. So we're going to have different versions. Now, are these out now or coming? or They are going to be available in the beginning of August and for Q4. Perfect time back to school. Uh, we're going to have them all in retailers and holiday time. They're going to be available online. Check them out. Fidget dash tech.com lots of fun lots of spinners and we bring tech oh, oh you know give, give me a price range yeah, so they're, they're going from anywhere from ten dollars to thirty depending on the models um they're not too costly they're very affordable very convenient and they'll be available in a lot of places okay. let me show you real quick to okay. show you the best one we saved it for last the uh, best one this okay one it's the giz whiz okay. spinner it has three mustaches no go ahead you ready for this yes we made a usb flash drive Oh, great. Okay. And what's uh, how much memory in there? So we're going to make them all different sizes. We're going to have 64 gig, 16 gig, 8 gig. We're going to make them 3.0s. We're eventually coming out with type C as well. And these these are going to be the best seller for sure. People love these. We have people just all day. The phones are off the hook. Great. It's some special thing. I like it. Dick Bartola, Mads Medis writer in the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. A little fidgety myself. Bye. Oh, my gosh. That is the <laughs> quintessential Gizwiz gadget. I know. Uh, I oh, know. my. I thought I had found something when I found uh, a fidget spinner with a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, man. But now I, I have no idea how these it are It is a device. Sell. A fidget spinner is a non-practical device. By trying to make it practical... It is like going against nature, almost. It's like, <laughs> it is so far beyond what I would have assumed possible. Right. Um, well, you know what? I, I thought the first one was not a bad idea, where it turned into a phone stand. Yeah. Uh, right. So all you do you is have the device. Little... Like, you don't need, yeah. you don't, like, yeah. It definitely got insane when it's like, okay, you yes, have your yes, fidget spinner your... that you yes. love. Okay, replace that one with this one that has headphone things in yeah. it so that you Wait, don't you and your spin friend... that. My headphones are plugged in. Yes. Can I use your fidget spinner? I really need to transfer this f file from this computer to the other computer. <laughs> Did I'm you sorry. take a fidget spinner out of there? I was downloading a... F oh, my God. You are you fidget it? spinning that? No, no. The data is going to become a race. That's what they really need to do is... It does a different action depending on how fast you spin it or spin it the other way. It's like oh, it's, a, it's a USB drive until you spin it at 200 RPMs and then it deletes everything off of it. That would oh, be very fun. inconvenient, but quite a cool gadget. That's um, very fun. Yeah, oh, I have no gosh. idea. I think they probably have some success with the uh, fidget spinner phone stand there because you're playing with it on the bus and then or the airplane and then you want to stand up your phone so it's right there but i'm not sure about uh, all the other devices i agree i agree <laughs> but it was something different it wasn't a bluetooth speaker no but it does, yeah oh, golly i just can't believe that you found that i can't believe that <laughs> that there's investors in that company um you know they had they but they, you know what, Chad? Uh, they had the most traffic. Of course they did, because uh, everyone knows it's going to not exist next year. You got to get <laughs> you got to get your reporting in now, because in a few months everyone's going to be rolling their eyes. I mean, there yeah. are you you know I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Fidget uh, Tech. I wish them luck. Yeah. Well, well, you know, we'll have to in a year. Beatmaster's good at this. Beatmaster has. <laughs> 
uh, a magical file that he keeps on the show. Oh my so gosh. we have to ask uh, uh, Beat yeah. Master, our in, intrepid moderator, who, if we decide to change the show and, and record it at five in the morning in Iceland, you go in there and Beat Master's already in there. Right. Uh, we have to re- remind him in one year. Go back. This you know, maybe yes, yes. maybe this is a good thing to co- to cover that at the end of the year with the best of worst of tech. Oh, that's that we do. Uh, and see where they yeah, even see, see where, where they see are many, now. Yes, see exactly. how many of those came. See out. if the domain name uh, Fidget Dash Tech <laughs> is available for purchase, um, and then we'll really know if we'll know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, okay. Our final, our final guy is uh, something else that uh, is uh, different. So let's take a peek. Here we go. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest writer in the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at N Blue, and they have some kind of a desk that I read about, and we're going to talk to Michael about what it is, and is this it? Yeah, is it? You know, so it's actually, um, it's, a, it's a new tool, a great thing. It's called SmartU. And it's foldable. You can take it in your in your suitcase. And the beauty is, you can take it out, connect this easily to your suitcase, and it turns your suitcase into a smart desk. Oh my word! Is this a little stand for your tablet? Yeah, yeah, it is. Also, you can have you can have um, let's say um, you can have tablet. This is tablet tablet stand. It's also gonna. Okay. Uh, you have to cut this. Uh, okay. Please edit this out. We will, we will not edit oh, this out. Okay. Phase, yeah, oh, it's a prototype. Yeah, yeah, okay. Prototype. We're still in the prototype phase, so it's, you can put, yeah, you can put your uh, iPad there. Uh, you can put your computer here. You can put, uh, let's say, your cup of coffee here. Um, see, the point is, I I uh, I went to travel through many airports and I watched people working with laptops on their knees on the on the labs and. You know, I even saw um, a MacBook drop down. So I thought, hey, you know, there must be something different. So and you can slide it up and down with yeah, the... Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> you can see that's a... You can see it fits here to different... To different... Uh, the width of a suitcase. Width. Yeah. yeah, we uh, actually researched about a couple hundred <laughs> suitcases to, to, to see what fits best, you know. And you can also... It's height adjustable. Uh, which is also good for your pelvic value, you know, for your body. So, you know, it's always good. It can be a stand-up stand or if you're sitting down, yeah. all yeah. the way down. Yeah. And, and, Michael, what's it going to sell for? Uh, the retail is going to be $99, and uh, we are right now on Indiegogo. Oh, okay, very good. Shipping might be? Uh, three months later. Three months later. Okay. Uh, and the name of the desk is? The Smart 2. Smart 2. Uh, a great idea. Dickie Bartolo, Maz Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Ooh, okay, so this feels like a um, an engineer saw a problem and then decided that they they had to fix it. Uh, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it seems like and some engineer was like, yes, this is absolutely what I need to put my life to. Um, uh, to fix, <laughs> and then we have the Smart Two desk. Desk. It seems like an engineer's problem almost. Um, okay, so you you would you th- you think you would like one I'm on or the fence. It's too gimmicky? Or? I feel like it's a little gimmicky. I feel okay. like also okay. you know I I've I've spent a lot of time with my carry on bag. Uh, you know, whenever I traveled with brushwood or whenever I travel, I try tra- I try to not check any bags, so I only have my carry on. And I don't know if I would trust its stability to hold my, you know, thousand dollar laptop. Um, no, I, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, now on Indiegogo, for people backing it, it's sixty five dollars. Oh, that's so, much more uh, reasonable. More reasonable. And and there is a uh, let me just look here. There's a forty two hundred milliamp that yellow. Let's just go back up for one second. There's uh, you see that uh, ah, the right ports there over the there. That yeah. that is a a slide out. A very flat forty two hundred milliamp battery bank. Interesting. So that that that's good. Um, that is good I, I'm actually. not sure if about a hundred bucks though. Yeah, I agree. I don't know about a hundred dollars. Um, and and just also, I don't. I I would really need to see this in person before I fully committed because 
I think that my roller bag, you know, it only goes up to here, you know, something somewhere around here. So if I was to put it, I guess I, I could I could see I need to see it in person, I think. Yeah, OK. Well, to, you, you could you could sit at the airport. And, that's and, true. And there was it. a photo of someone yeah. sitting there. And right. Once again, though, I just it's not that is not an issue for me. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, I just put it in my lap. I'm happy with it. Oh, okay. Uh, Very good. Very now, good. you know what well, someone said? It's something... no drink holder. I would love a drink holder, you know? Yeah, it's just, I am You're surprised. sitting there at the airport. You got all your stuff. It's fall. You try to sit in the sit next, seat next to you, but it's like slanted. So you're... Anyway, uh, I'm a little they skeptical. They should have a slide in drink holder. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, anyway, so that's... Um, depending on when you're watching this, I believe the... Campaign ends around April, uh, August 1st. I don't like that. It always says 12 days left. And why doesn't it just say ends August 2nd? <laughs> exactly. You, know? you have to get a calendar and go now. Do they mean is today one of those 12 days? Right. Or are there 12? You know, I anyway. think this is more for an impulse buy. You don't want them you to think, well, okay, okay I'll just come back on Friday. You oh, know? It's oh, like, okay, okay. Oh, there's only 12 days left. I might forget in the next 12 days. And what are they? Go, go back again. Are they halfway to what they wanted? Uh, they yes, oh, yes, fifty-one percent of uh, twenty thousand okay. dollars. Okay, so. with twelve days to go. Exactly. Uh, all right. Anyway, it was at least it's something a little bit different. I agree. Something different. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that means we have no corner, so it's time for Chad's crappy no, shelf. Or Chad's crappy walking Chad. away to find a piece of crap. Crappy uh, corner. Got some crap. Okay. Get it. Get it. So we have had some uh, corners that are not so crappy, uh, and this would be one. I, I for so I have. I feel like I have a very unique perspective on. Dun, da, da, da. Well, tell tell people what oh, our theme is. It is uh, gadgets from the hardware store. So Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, Ace Hardware, those sorts of stores. And uh, I feel like I have a, a big perspective on the home thermostat market because Whoa, you have you heard are talking of lots much. of, yes, there's um, lots of home thermostats out there, but there's only a few smart home thermostats that are really revered. And basically Nest home thermostats and Ecobee home thermostats are the two good smart home thermostats uh, that show up in my mind. And I have the privilege to have owned and operated both for a very long time. Ooh. So I have a little video explaining the differences bet between the two uh, and uh, what I like about each and, and uh, things like that. So let's roll the video. Hey Diggity, uh, this is Chad, and you can get an Ecobee thermostat and both a Nest thermostat. This is the older model of the Nest thermostat uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's. Now, luckily, I already had these, so I didn't have to drop the hundreds of dollars it cost in order to own them. This house came pre-installed, and I bought this back when I owned an apartment. So some of the differences that I've noticed between the Ecobee and the Nest. Let's start off with the Nest. Nest, lots of people know about it. Lots of people love the Nest. Uh, you can see that the design is very, very nice compared to the Ecobee. Ecobee looks a little bit more plasticky and things like that. Nest is also known for a lot of their artificial intelligence that they put into the uh, controller where it will determine if you're away from the house or if every night you turn down the, the, the or turn the AC on to go to bed, it'll try to automatically adjust. That is not really in the Ecobee. It's more of a standard utilitarian thermostat, except that it does have some nice features for larger homes like this. This is an extra sensor that you can place into another room of your house, and it works as a thermostat to tell the net, the Ecobee, sorry, um, if the AC needs to run a little bit more. So if you have a thermostat, you know, with a thermometer built into the thermostat inside of your, uh, a bedroom, uh, and then you have this inside of your living room, if the living room gets too hot, it'll turn on the AC, but if the bedroom like was saying cool, it may not have turned on the AC otherwise because it didn't have an extra sensor in a different room. So far, um, my, experience with the sensors have actually not been all that great. It comes with a little battery in the back. You know you know what this battery looks like. Um, and it has to be, I may not be able to open it here live. 
Uh, it has to be replaced very often in my uh, that's a CR2032 battery. Yep. Uh, this ha I've had to replace this a lot, so much that I have now stopped replacing the battery and I don't even use that sensor anymore. I've just been using the Ecobee. Uh, one nice thing that I do like about the Ecobee is on the Nest, sometimes this uh, radial menu that you have to kind of turn the Nest in order to get to is a little bit confusing. It's kind of nice that this is just a pure touchpad. So if I want to change the temperature, I, you can just go in here and grab it and change the temperature and it sets it. Uh, so just having an actual touch screen uh, is kind of nice. But you can also see, you've, you're, most people are familiar with the Nest. You can see that the menus uh, and things here aren't as fantastic um, on the Ecobee as they are compared to the Nest. One final thing is that the Ecobee does work really, really, really well with Apple's HomeKit. And it's nice to stay at home and just be able to change the thermostat from your iPhone and you can share it with other people. It's uh, quite nice. Both of these obviously have an app, but having Apple HomeKit integration is very nice. Okay, that is a great look at the Nest and Ecobee thermostats. Back to you in the studio. Oh, that guy in the video looks just like you. <laughs> you would think that this was recorded just moments ago, almost. <laughs> yes. um, so yeah, so basically, um, when it comes to the smart learning that the Nest does, I trust it a lot more. And I also like the design of the Nest a lot more. Although I really do like how the Ecobee works with uh, HomeKit and that the um, Ecobee has the option for another sensor, even though mine has been kind of a a bad um, experience, uh, and that the menus on the Ecobee are just a little bit more straightforward uh, to get at because it's just a touch screen, although the build quality isn't as good. So, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, the, the ne uh, Nest hired the original makers, designers of the iPods. Yes, exactly. Um, right. And, uh, and the Nest was bought by Google. Um, so... And no. Dropcam. And Dropcam was bought by Google. So right. um, there was quite a lot there um, with, I mean, with that company, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, it would be a hard sell to, deci to de decide right now if, they were, if, if I was moving into a place and they said, you know what, we'll install either an Ecobee or either a Nest, oh, which you would know, you Chad, like? You know, Chad, are they both 300 bucks? Isn't oh, a Nest like a 300 bucks? Good question. And that is information that I should find out. Let me find that okay. out. Um, because that's a, that, that, that is a determining factor. It um, could be if it's like a hundred bucks different or so. Yeah, the Ecobee 4 thermostat, let's say shop online, and then the Nest home thermostat. We're gonna do a little bit of, now, now Nest does all sorts of other products nowadays. <laughs> Um, yes. So they do cameras, they do all sorts of stuff. So the Ecobee is $250 for the Ecobee oh. 4, and then the Nest Learning Thermostat is also $250, the exact oh, okay. same price. So here's uh, the Nest Learning Thermostat and then the Ecobee uh, Thermostat. So there's both of them. Yeah, it would be a really hard sell uh, for me to determine the difference you know, the big differences between right. the two. Um, you know, ne whoops. Uh, Nest has kind of been the standard for a very long time, although Ecobee is very nice that it has the sensor uh, inside of it. So, And they both do the, the same thing where if you're gone for a very long... It has a motion sensor built in. Oh. So if you're gone for a very, very long amount of time, it will basically put your home into... Uh, vacation mode so you're you're not there and then also the app makes it very convenient if you know that you're going to be leaving for a week just say turn off the thermostat and things like that and they also both have the option to set a minimum and maximum temperature range yep. so that you don't have to switch your thermostat from cool to hot um constantly it if it just gets above a certain degrees it'll cool it down if it gets below a certain degree it'll warm it up um which is which is really really nice so That's there good. we go. Um, not so crappy, this corner. Both very, no. very, very nice products. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. 
They're geeky and they're goofy Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In this gadget warehouse For Horn And our email is from Masha Veach V-E-A-C-H Sending you a YouTube video Hoping to get an Alfred E. Newman poster uh, Marsha lives in Springfield. She says, Springfield, yes, home of the Simpsons, Ooh. Oregon. And let's take a look at Marsha's video of the week. Hi, Dick and Chad. Marsha here. Hi. I wanted to show you what I found <laughs> when I cleaned up my closet recently. This is Woo-hoo, my own perfect. little gadget warehouse. You know, I started listening to... Um, uh, the, the Daily Giz was probably in February of 2006. I think it was wow. probably the second or third one that you guys ever put out, you and Leo. Wow. And I, I think I found out about this from that one. I found out about many devices from that, but this is what I've had um, over the years. So anyway, what I really wanted to show you is this, which is a gadget that I actually, when I found it, I started using it again just for fun. It is a handheld game, of course, and I think these supposed to come out in the 80s sometime. Um, <clears throat> we lived overseas in the early 90s, and boy, I would have loved to have had one there, but we didn't. We actually got this when we came back um, uh, probably in the late, ni- late 90s, maybe even the early 2000s, Yahtzee. It does still work. I say it doesn't work there. It does still work, <laughs> and you can push the buttons. You can enter the score. Um you can't put the back on it because it won't work if you put the cap over the battery. But I found out that once you didn't, you could still use it. And I've been using it and having a lot of fun with it and a lot of fun listening to you guys. So thanks so much and um, happy Gizwiz. Thank you so much. That is the thank the, you, Marsha. The uh, quintessential, perfect. quintessential yes, a, gadget warehouse. I was playing this out video. and found this thing, couldn't stop playing with it. Absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, so Marsha gets uh, the August match. She'll get one of those little Alfred E. Newman pictures that she said she wanted. They get more and more valuable. They will be priceless soon. When Mad moves to California and we don't go, I won't have access to those posters. Oh uh, so anyway, get us a video. We have one video for next week, and then we need more. A uh, video uh, that was like a two-minute video, one, two, or three minutes it can be any kind of gadget, an old gadget, a new gadget, a gadget you hate, a gadget you invented, um, a gadget that is your favorite thing in the whole world. Make a little video, put it on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu uh, as you upload and click on Unlisted. And that way, only people with the link will be able to see it. And then you send that link to us. Don't make it private. Because then not even we can see it. Um, so uh, mail it to, send the link to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if you live in the U.S. or Canada, you'll get the Mad Magazine and the Alfred E. Newman picture. Uh, if not, we'll give you a shout out here on the show. Uh, so get those videos to us uh, soon. Okay, like I said, we need one for the uh, for the week after next. And we're looking for new people to, to do videos. Be there or be square. Yes, exactly. uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. Now, and our letter is from Scott Schramm, Schramm, S-C-H-R-A-M-M. Hi, Dick and Chad, longtime viewer of the show. Do either of you remember the original letters jingle? I haven't heard it in a long time. Wondering if Chad can throw it into rotation with the other jingles. I am including a link to it. On YouTube. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the here original letters jingle. Oh, why is it? Oh, oops, sorry. Wait, wait, this is that was a tease. That was a, you got a, a <laughs> section of the video. Here we go. Here's the jingle. The 
that that has that has to be integrated. Oh, I, it was so good I had to start oh, it over I again. Say, I don't, yeah, do it again. Do it. Here again. we go. Bam! I love it. I love it. Okay. Love it. Love it. We're gonna integrate Scott. that into the show right now. We will. And, and Scott uh, says I have a viewer video. Uh, where I talk about something I recently, I recently purchased from Radio Shack. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, we did have a video for this week. So Scott, we will use your video as video of the week next week. And thanks for reminding us about that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm like, I want to integrate it in right now. Like, I'm like, okay, oh, okay. here we go. Let's, uh, let's add in the, <laughs> the letters theme. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I'll Perfect. do that after the show. Okay, very um, good. With that, we're uh, coming to a close, but don't forget to go on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? Uh, the only uh, game show uh, on this show, really. Um, <laughs> so head on over to gizwiz.biz, scroll down, click the What the Heck Is It? banner, and play along with the entire internet. Uh, and the object is, there is a gadget, this is a full gadget, this isn't just a, a part of the gadget, and you have to guess what it is, we don't give you the name, uh, and you email Dick to get in your suggestion, and if you're right, there's 12 Mad Magazines, if you're wrong, no Mad Magazine for you, but you can try to be wrong, and we applaud that, okay? So, if you're creative, funny, hilarious, uh, with this gadget right here, here's the photo of it, uh, then you are a, uh, you could possibly win 24 Mad Magazines. One of 24. Uh, this is obvious to me. This was during the 90s uh, when space was really big, okay? This is a space crab robot. Uh, that's why it looks so futuristic and cool. Um, the space crab robot is uh, available to purchase at your local Toys R Us. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad guess. Not, Not bad. a bad guess. Also, big thank you to our patrons. Without you guys, we couldn't do this show. Without this, you, you would be guys, sitting in front of, you would be sitting there for one hour yeah. staring at a blank screen. I'd be And we would be thumbs. crying. I'd be thinking. We would be, yeah, we would be, I could I would be, be looking sad. at gadgets right now. But we never got any patrons. That stinks. Uh, without you guys, I mean, this, uh, this studio wouldn't be remade without you guys. Uh, we wouldn't be live every week. So big, big thanks to you. If you enjoy the show, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is our Patreon page. That is a reoccurring thing for every episode. It does not have to be a lot of money. We are looking for cents on the dollar here, folks. <laughs> um, please, please, please consider supporting the show. Uh, and also, some people uh, don't want to do a recurring thing. They just want to give once. Hey, we love you too. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.tv and click the Patreon banner. And then there's a PayPal link on that page. We have a new slogan. Right. Why not pay 50 cents for nonsense? <laughs> hey, I like okay, it. Right? Not bad. Yeah, 50 cents for nonsense. Uh, yeah. Love it. Um, and you can watch our show live. We're live every Thursday. And I don't, oh, there may be actually be a scheduled thing. I, may, I need to talk to you after the show <laughs> uh, uh, on uh, the beginning of uh, next month. But um, w we should be live. If we're ever not live at the correct time, it's very simple. Head on over to gizwiz.tv. We do a little banner at the top that says when the next recording should be. So just uh, check out uh, there. Uh, but 7.30 uh, Eastern Time, uh, 4.30 Pacific Time on Thursdays is our normal time. We love it when people are in the chat room. We're reading the oh, chat it's room. Great. It's just looking great. Looking at what you're saying. You guys are talking to us. We call you out if, uh, you, you know, if we plagiarize your lines from the chat room. We, we like to call out your name. Um, uh, for the support and thank you guys so much. So uh, head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch live That's also where our show notes and previous episodes are hosted and you can also go on over to gizwiz.biz And see all the articles that Dickie D has written about every single gadget That about wraps it up for this episode of the gizwiz. See you next week I'll be here